Okay, we're back. Here's Bowser. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna just hopefully win. I don't know really to say anymore. This is my second attempt. Uh, let him roll his spike balls. Yep, this King Boo. So let's be on a Oh god damn it, no fuck this game! That's fucking horse shit. That's fucking Ah. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, and the explosion hit me. God damn it. better this time. That's good. We ain't gonna win. We ain't gonna win. And there goes our silver. See, that's the kind of bullshit I hate, man. That's like way too much damage. I, I know he's the final boss, but like that's way too much. It's unfair. Come on, Luigi. Suck him up. Let's finish this game so we can. Whew. I thought Blossus was tough. There you go, it's gonna go on backwards. I wanna be as far away from Bowser as possible. Oh, cool, he's just gonna. So that's how the AI works in this. Okay. So, uh, he will just run back and forth between two, the two closest surfaces. Oh no, I don't wanna get sucked up! Come on! That's not fair, man. That's fucking unfair. What this game just did to me is so unfair. Are you serious? Watch, and now that bomb's gonna explode on me too. And now he's over there. But no! Fuck this game, man. That's so dumb. I can't believe that. He's got like, what, one? Oh, he had three. That's so stupid. He got... What? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, remarkable, I know. Yep, I ran with it all the way to the top. He <sighs> got... I have no words. I have no words. Yeah, I found King Boo. Jumped into a painting of Bowser. Of course he did. I... Alright. I've never heard such a fantastic tale. And that career spans 60 years, mind you. I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say. Oh, he got, he got, you did nothing this whole game. I don't want to hear it. This whole brain goes recollecting every now and then. Recollecting, not recollecting. Man, do I have, like, dyslexia or some shit? I could sit down and, re and fill a week spinning ghost yarns. What the fuck? The fuck is that <laughs> 
Why just last? Okay, you got. You have totally lost me. Am I stupid? Or is this poorly written? Like, I'm fucking lost right now. What? Right, well, anywho, Luigi, grab your brother's painting and bring him to the lab. Oh. The poor little fella's falling asleep. No, I think he's just fucking dead. With relief and exhaustion when he saw you alive, arrive. Ugh. 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 Get all that cotton mouth out of my mouth. I got the machine ready to return to your brother to his former state. Alrighty, we'll be expecting you both. Fucking thank you for my 15 health. You're getting a fucking bronze on King Boo. That's just stupid. Stupid and ridiculous. I feel like I was robbed of a victory right- I, I was robbed of a silver right there. By a couple of bullshit things. This little mess with your head, all your hard work lasted only a single night. We ate dinner like six times! What do you mean it was a, only one night? How many times are we gonna eat dinner you got? What do we have? Dinner at six, seven, eight, and nine? Like what? Imagine those bills, those, ugh. those bills. You can read the text, just read it. But that treasure seems to be real. I have no interest in such stuff. So go on and keep it all. Yeah, if you had an interest in money, you would use this machine you built to get fucking filthy rich like you should be. You fucking mad genius, you. Use it however you like. Say, what? Enough rattling out about money. I guess we'd better get your brother back then. Of course, your brother's really important. But first, we have to take care of these last ghosts. So my brother isn't too important, is what you're saying. Okay, so we got Bowser's awkward head. And King Boo in the machine. But it's gonna count through all the other portrait ghosts we caught, too. Yep, I know the drill. You gotta press them into visible forms. All right, what do we got? We got a bronze, King Boo, silver, on Jarvis, uh, silver on Sue P, gold on Vincent Van Gool or Gore, whatever his name is, uh, gold on Uncle Grimly. Gold on the Clockwork Soldiers. Silver. Oh, we got a silver on that guy. The ice guy. Hmm. I'd wager dollars in the donuts that nobody but me has such lovely paintings. <laughs> sure, what have, we, what have we got here? Now we've got Uncle Grimley. Jarvis. Vincent Van Gore. Sue P. Clockwork Soldiers. Sir Weston. And King Boo. Man, I wish we got the gold on King Boo. The gold one looks really cool, from what I remember. Although, actually, the bronze one looks kind of cool, too. I forget what the silver one even looks like. We've caught a total of 23 ghosts. Alright, show, show me the grand total. What's the grand total here? 122,320,000 G. Let's save. Alright, so there's Mario. Working in reverse. Zap the shit out of him. Smack him down, press him down. Put him in the thing over there. Give him a nice little spin cycle. Holy god. Are you, are you sure this thing works in reverse, man? This looks like it's about to break. Mario? Where the fuck Mario go? Oh, there he is. Oh, Mario, son of a bitch! Of course, the first thing you do when you come back, you headbutt me. After all that hard fucking work to save you. Well, look at you, you dumb son of a bitch. You got your head stuck in the fucking frame of the machine. You look like a fucking crazy nut. Look, Luigi can't fucking believe it. He's like, look at this guy. People think he's better than me. I just cleansed a whole mansion full of ghosts. And he's there all googly-eyed, looking like a buffoon. You tell him, Luigi. You're number one. Mario is number two. Luigi is the king. 
Okay, so we get the credits over here. Let them roll. Uh, give you some of my final thoughts while we do that. So yeah, Luigi's Mansion, love it. One of my favorite games on the GameCube. Up there as far as favorite of all time. Definitely, I wouldn't... Alright, here's the thing. I wouldn't consider this like one of my favorites of all time. But, I would consider it one of the most memorable games I've ever played in my life. Which is why I think I keep coming back to it. Uh, pros? Pretty much all of it is really fun. Uh, it's short, which some people would say it's a bad thing, but I think that's a good thing. Because it's the short play time has a lot of replayability. So if you want to revisit this game, you can pop it right back in. It's only going to take you a couple hours. Uh, obviously, there's some funny dialogue. Uh, most very creative, a lot of cool gimmicks for a lot of the boss fights. Every boss ghost feels unique. It never feels like there's a carbon copy, except maybe, um, maybe Lydia and Neville, because they're the first ones. They're like the beginner ghosts that you go up against. But those, so those are what I'd say the pros are. Cons later have later like last 25% of the game, maybe even last only 20% of the game. Difficulty spike. Uh, not difficulty in the traditional sense of, wow, this is really high. Difficulty in monotony. So, uh, like, going back and forth with the booze in every, you know, two minutes into multiple different rooms. Uh, it's, the repetitiveness just really bogs down the end, unfortunately. Uh, King Boo can be really tough. Uh, the controls can be a little tough to grapple with sometimes. This is one of the few games, I'd say, where inverted controls feels better. So there's that, but yeah. And so the matter of the ghost was settled. Professor E. Gad was so delighted to have all his paintings returned that he used the treasure Luigi had found to build Luigi a new house. Look at that. A beautiful new house. Now that looks like the mansion we were supposed to win. Congratulations, your mansion is complete. We got a rank A. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. The end. And our final score, 122,320,000 G. Oh, you know what I wish I did? I wish I read off the total amount of uh, gems that we found and stuff in total. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go to my save file, and I want to show off a few things. So first of all, where will you go, Luigi? You can see there's a new option now. The Hidden Mansion. The Hidden Mansion is pretty much like hard mode. Uh, there's ghosts are stronger. Your vacuum's also stronger, but ghosts are stronger, especially the portrait ghosts. Uh, ghosts that usually show up in the mansion uh, later on will show up earlier. Uh, in the European version of the game, the PAL version, I think that also includes Australia. Uh, the um, the mansion is flipped from right to left or something like that it's, you you know how like in all right so like in the legend of zelda twilight princess when they made like the gamecube version and the uh the wii version how the map in like the gamecube version is flipped around in the wii version to accommodate right-handed people uh it's kind of like that except you know it's not accommodating anybody also in the european version uh, the ghost placement is different. So there's different ghosts in different rooms in the Hidden Mansion. Uh, but we're not gonna do the Hidden Mansion. I've actually never played through the Hidden Mansion. I've never felt compelled to. Uh, but we are gonna go to the gallery. And we're gonna look at all the ghost paintings we got. Get a good look at them. So, first off, if we go over here. Luigi. Here is a beautiful mansion. This is the rank A mansion. This is the best mansion you can get. Uh, I recommend taking a look online at some of the, you know, other mansions for the other ranks because some of them are quite funny looking, especially the lower rank ones. Okay, so this is Neville. 
We got a gold on him. He, we fought him in the study. Now if we come over here, this is Lydia. She's number two. We caught her in the master bedroom. And if I remember correctly, the, the order here is really weird. Um, like, what are you? Ah, you're number three. This is Nana. We caught her in Nana's room. I think that's what it's called. Nana's room. Uh, let's see. I think that's four. This is number four. This is Chauncey. We caught him in the nursery. We got gold on him. Uh, I think it goes it ping pongs. No, nope. oh sorry. Mm -hmm. There we go. No, wait, where's number five? Okay, well I guess we're doing it out of order. Here's uh, the fortune teller lady. Uh, I forgot what her name was. Like I said, I wish it said their names because I don't remember all of them. But we got a gold on her. She was really easy. Uh, I don't think I've ever not gotten a gold on her. Here's the butler. We got a. Gold on him, too. Hmm. Mr. Lugs. Yeah, look at a little pixelated there. So, like I said, the gold version has the best quality picture in the frame, too. So there's Mr. Lugs. Got a silver. Here's Jarvis. Uh, got a silver on him, too. Mr. Lugs and Jarvis are optional. You don't have to get them if you don't want to, which is probably why they're a lot harder to get in you know one go than the others these are the clockwork soldiers we got a gold on them here's Biff Atlas once again another optional ghost uh, we got uh, silver on him looks like there's waves in the background it must be like at the beach or something wait wait I don't want to go in here oh well here's where King Boo's picture is we'll look at that last uh, I'm trying to look at these pictures. Here's Bogmeyer. We got a gold on him. And uh, he looks nice. I, I find it funny that the gold picture of Bogmeyer is not of Bogmeyer. It's of one of the Black Shadows. Here's uh, Uncle Grimly. He's looking mighty fine in his gold portrait in like a swirling vortex. Let's go around the other side. Uh, here's Melody, the uh, sweet demure pianist, who the butler, <laughs> the like mad old butler, was super in love with for some reason. Uh, she's got a gold porch, uh, gold frame, so we did really good on her. Miss Petunia, not optional, but we got her uh, a silver because she's uh, the usually the bigger like ghosts, and I mean bigger as in like. Mr. Lugs, Biff Atlas, Miss Petunia, you know, the ones that are larger size, you, they have a strong, pretty strong pull against you, so it, it's hard to get gold on them sometimes. You really gotta get lucky and, like, get them in a corner. It's really like Street Fighter, if you think about it. Okay, here's Sue P. Well, I'm waiting for these sirens to go by. Hope they don't show up on the recording. Uh, yeah, the cops are after me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, uh, here's Sue P. We got a silver on her. Mm -hmm. We would have got a gold if it wasn't for me getting hit by that damn clown. Here's the, uh, whirling, whir twirling whirlindas or something like that. Uh, we got a gold on them. Mm -hmm. Here's Spooky, the doggy. And we got a gold on him. And, uh, I like the very, uh... I know, it's like a very pop art rendition of the Ghost Bulldog. Alright, here's the twins, Henry and Orville. Got a gold on them. Here's uh, the Explorer guy. Already forgot his name. But we got a silver on him. Uh, we would have gotten a gold, but... I think I got hit by a stalagmite. I'm not sure. Who knows? I probably he probably just broke my pole. I can't remember. Here's Slim Bankshot. Uh, Slim Bankshot was a pain in the ass. Although I do like this picture of him. I think it's very funny looking. Oh. 
Let me wait for these sirens to go by. Hopefully they go by fast. Hmm. All right. Here's Bulasis. I mean, it's kind of cool because he's like a sprite, but he's like a really bad sprite. And you can see every pixel. I, I don't know how I feel about that. But gold Bulasis looks pretty cool. But we got a silver on him. And here's Vincent Van Gogh. We got a gold on him. If we go over here, we have the mighty King Boo, number 23. Mm -hmm. And here he is in his bronze portrait. It's actually a pretty cool looking one. I actually think I like this one the best out of all of them. But just in case, here's the gold portrait. Boom! Like that. Yeah, that looks nice. We're going to just pretend I got that one. All right, so, guys, that is Luigi's Mansion. I know I got a bit salty at the end, but you'll have to forgive me. I'm just a salty kind of guy. So, Egad, what do you say we go get some more of that diesel marinade and go back to the lab and we'll have one heck of a salad? All right, then. Guys, you stay happy, you stay lovely, and you have a phenomenal rest of your life in case we never talk to each other again. Not that we talked to each other in the first place, but before I ramble, do one last thing for me. I want you to go donate some money to the charity of your choice. Alright? Don't do it for me. Don't do it for you. Do it for whoever that charity benefits. Until then, I'll see you around.